ball at the end of this video does not look real. It was made by fusing two standard balls together and offsetting the angle, creating a completely new ball construction, one that has two other balls hiding inside of it. All of the new 119 panels are completely unique and have a specific home in the ball. I could tell, even at this early stage, that it was going to be a really cool one. I got the idea from another ball I was working on recently that was a ball made from other balls. The panels on that ball had these ghost lines from the balls that they were recycled from. Obviously, those lines didn't line up across the panels, but there was no reason why they couldn't line up. The implications for this are huge. You could basically combine any two balls if you wanted. It took about two weeks of stitching to get this ball together. All the effort was worth it though, because I think this ball turned out amazing. I find it genuinely mesmerizing to watch bounce around. My brain can't quite make sense of it. Two balls occupying the same space in the fourth dimension. It's like a glitched object, about twice as good as a regular ball. And you can't really argue with that. It could use another prototype and a bit more refining, but for a first pass, I'm really happy with it.